Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Dropship.io versus Shop Hunter. I'll be talking about the differences between them and which one you should be choosing. So to be just to, to just be clear, both are going to have the same idea overall. So the difference is not going to be between uh, which one performs better. It's more like uh, the numbers, how the numbers are different from one another because on paper, they are basically going to do the same exact thing. Obviously, some has different futures uh, that are included, not in the other one, which I will be talking about right now. But the main focus is going to only be around the pricing in which plan provides you with which uh, futures. So here, dropship, discover winning product to sell, find and monitor stores to gain insights into their revenue, sales, products, apps, and more. I didn't talk about what they are, so I think this highlights some of it, but both are going to be platforms that you will be using in order to find good products that you can use on your businesses. So this saves you from the trouble of going out of your way and doing too much research or risking, uh, start risking using uh, or selling products that are going to flop and are not going to increase your business in any way, shape, or form. So they basically will highlight the pro the best product for you, and then you go ahead and do the rest. So these two platforms are going to be d doing just that. So the first the thing that we are going to be comparing is the pricing. So let's just go ahead and click on pricing for Dropship IO, and we can see uh, Dropship IO has three plans <clears throat> excuse me it has the basic plan standard and premium basic uh, is going to be 29 a month standard 49 and premium 79 that is if you choose to pay monthly if you want to pay yearly i'm losing my voice here <clears throat> if you want to pay yearly you can click here and you get to save up to 40 percent here uh it goes from 29 to 19 here it goes from 49 to 29 and then for the premium it goes from 79 to 49 let's talk about the futures now for the futures product database which will allow you to search for products uh, and everything you need about them you will have filter systems uh, so niche uh, revenue all of those things you'll be able to do it and you get 20 searches a day so uh, you will have a lot of searches here. I think uh, 600 searches per month if you utilize every single 20 searches per day. I think you get around uh, 600 searches a day. Don't quote me on that. And same goes for computer research, which will help uh, you uh, find more about your competitors and what they are doing with their own products within the same niche. Now, you, you will also get access to this future ad spot, which is, as it says here, access to a library of millions of Facebook ads to search and filter through. Um, ads could help uh, you find products that are actually, you know, people that are clicking on these ads and liking these products. So you'll be able to know even more that people are interested and such products to, so this is very very excellent and you get 15 searches a day uh, you will get portfolio and uh, store tracker you get to track 10 stores see how they are doing product tracker you get to track 20 products and you also get chrome extension so you can use this chrome extension uh, to basically do your research as you are browsing your Google Chrome, which is very excellent. So the top stores, top products, they will not give any access to that within the basic plan. Moving on to the standard plan. By the way, uh, the value of 29 to get all of those things is actually very, very valuable. It's You get a lot for 30 bucks in Dropship IO. You'll be lacking the top stores, maybe the top products, but other than that, I think you get a very good deal. The standard, however, 
I think is the better one, the better option for dropship is going to be the product database from 20 it goes unlimited and competitor research also it goes in unlimited and then the numbers increase for everything else but then the catch is going to be the top stores you will get full access to top stores and for the, for the top stores you will get uh, a list of the top performing stores and the list updates for 24 hours so you get full access right off the gate when you go for the standard plan moving on to the premium premium is going to have everything the standard has it just includes the ad spot instead of 30 which was 50 originally from 30 it goes unlimited which is crazy and everything else increases in number uh the store tracker goes up to 50 stores you can track which is more than you ever need really and uh the product goes to 100 but then the catch is going to be you get the top products again 24 hour it keeps refreshing and updates so you get a lot and it's trust me when you see shop hunter you will actually think it's for free because shop hunter is is very very expensive and doesn't really do as well uh, so if we go to shop hunter and start looking at their pricing if we click on here we have the basic plan we have the professional business enterprise basic the best way to get started with shop hunter apparently you get uh 50 dollars a month and uh professional is going to be 75 business 250 and 500 for enterprise and if you pay yearly you only get to do so for the professional and basic uh, and they will take two months off so you'll pay for 10 months instead of 12. so from here it's going to be 600 instead of 500 900 is going to be 750. right so what what are you going to be getting 25 tracked stores for fifty dollars uh to, so the basic plan top 40 global stores and top 20 global products and email and ticket supports so that's what you'll be getting you you get to track 25 stores which is kind of decent and you get to uh, see top 40 global stores and top 20 global products for 75 explore search which is now start it starts to get included for seventy five dollars, which is almost as much as the premium, and you get to track fifty stores, uh, top eighty global and uh, stores and forty uh, global products or top forty global products and email stays the same. And here also for the business is just going to increase in number and these tracked stores is going to increase to 500 which is crazy and then here 1100 tracked stores for 500 dollars and here for 250. Uh, other than that you can get uh, 100 global store the top 100 stores and top 100 products and for here is going to also be the same top 100. so you'll be paying 500 to get those things which is the top 100 global stores and mainly you'll be paying 500 to get this really so in comparison which one is better in offering you more or less obviously it's going to be dropship io dropship io is going to be offering you more as you can see for less uh, you get unlimited searches and uh, competitor research for the 50 uh, plan which is crazy and you get the ad search you get the portfolio store tracker you will be getting less stores uh, and product tracker maybe around the same but everything else is going to be uh, for dropship io and it's very cheaper uh shop hunter you may want to consider 
if you want to track something like 500 stores or a thousand or 100 stores for some reason if that's the case i think you should go for shop hunter if it's anything else i think dropship io is the best one for you and that's all i have for you for this video thanks for watching